In this video, I'm going to be going over the top five free plugins for After Effects. So when I made this list, I tried to go as underrated plugins as possible and as, you know, not as known of. And just so you guys know, I now have a full course in my all-in-one bundle, which means that you will get all of my editing packs on my whole website and a course included as well in that bundle, which is the best deal I have by far. So to check it out, it's going to be a link in the description. Now let's start showcasing some plugins. So the first free plugin I'm going to be going over is called NTSCRS. And holy shit, that's hard to pronounce. But uh, <laughs> how to use it is basically making a adjustment layer here in After Effects. So press Ctrl Alt Y. And here we're going to be applying the NTSCRS plugin. And it's going to look something like this here. And it's basically going to give you the VHS camcorder kind of look. And the fact that this plugin is free is actually incredible. So you can adjust settings here, noises, distortions. There's a lot you can customize here. And just by quickly customizing some settings, you'll be getting this look to your footage. And this is easily one of the best free plugins I have seen. Like literally incredible, this plugin here. And all of the links to the plugins is going to be down in the description. So that was the first plugin. Now the second one is a plugin we actually used to apply the NTSC RS plugin, which is the FX console plugin. And if you're not using this, you're really shooting yourself in the foot. Like this plugin is really going to be saving you hours of time. Instead of going here to the effects here, blah, 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 searching up the effects, dragging it on and everything like that. I just go here, press control space. I get the tab here basically, and then just fast box blur, something like that. And here you could also take a screenshot with it. And you have a whole gallery for the screenshots. You can export them. And there's a bunch of settings for it as well. And this small little plugin, even though it doesn't seem so big difference here, it's going to save you very, very much time, especially if you're working on some big projects that's going to be taking a lot of time. That's really going to be adding up and saving a lot of time for you. Now for the third free plugin, it's called Omino. And this is a very, very cool plugin in my opinion. Search up Omino. And here it includes all of the effects here, Omino Colorizer. Diffusion, half tone, snake, all of this stuff here. And the most famous effect from this plugin here is easily the diffusion effect here. So if I just add this on here, it's going to be giving you this kind of look here. And then here you can adjust and you will get these, as you guys can see, this lanes here, which kind of looks like a distorted CRT kind of look here. And if it's going to be glitching like this, from which direction? And then the color count, and then you can adjust that here again with of the each color here and you can be getting looks like this and this plugin is absolutely free which is pretty pretty crazy in my opinion and i really think this plugin deserved a place on this list here and now for the fourth plugin here it's called displacer pro and i think this is a very very cool plugin which you can make really really cool like liquid kind of effects super super cool so if i just show this real quick you can duplicate your uh, footage here Control d here we can add Displacer Pro, and then we can just change around with the settings here. And you guys can see it's going to be creating this super cool liquid kind of look here. A bunch of different settings here, and it looks super, super cool in my opinion. Change it uh, however we want and create really, really cool liquid glitchy kind of effects with it. And the last free plugin I'm going to be going over is called Quick Chromatic Aberration Free, which is easily going to help you get the chromatic aberration look. So here I have the adjustment layer, just shows up quick chromatic aberration. It's going to look something like this here. And here you can adjust the channels, which colors are going to be uh, having on the sides basically. So if I just increase the scale here a little bit, you can see the edges here with the color and you can change around with the hue and it's going to be creating this kind of trippy look here which looks super super nice i mean if we just quickly just keyframe this boom then go three seconds forward and just drag up the hue shift go a couple of laps there and now when we play it's going to be creating this super super trippy cool look to our footage here and you can stylize it even more in this style stick here by creating some warp here, 
making some insanely strippy uh, stuff here, which is really, really cool. You can literally get this look here for free, which is pretty, pretty crazy here. Looks super, super cool, this uh, trippy chromatic aberration look here. So hope you guys liked the plugins I went over in this video here. And all of the links to the plugins is going to be down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out my newly updated all-in-one bundle with my course included now. It's going to be linked in the description as well. Other than that, take care and have a nice day.